bang, 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 bang. I shot you. Hopefully you didn't die because that would suck. I would have no one to watch this video. But today's video is a little different. I'm going to be talking about the importance of friends and family and why you need to keep these people close in your life and why you shouldn't treat them like shit. Um, I was smoking a blunt uh, last night and I just got to thinking like, man, I just wish I wasn't a fucking asshole when I was a teenager because, uh, you know, when you're just an asshole to your parents or maybe your, your grandparents, um, really just to anybody, you, it's more like you're not purposely trying to be an asshole, sometimes you are. But sometimes you're just taking your day out on this person because you just had a shitty day and the person that's asking you a question or something you didn't you know has nothing uh, has done nothing wrong so you're just snapping on them and you know it's just like those people they'll do so much for you and uh, you shouldn't treat them like shit because you know every day you gotta treat it kinda like your last day you never know when your time is up so yeah I'm gonna hit this bong before I get too much further into it because uh, I'm starting to ramble a little bit um, and Smoking on some cryptocratic, uh, cryptocratic, uh, cryptonite. Yep, that's what it's called. I don't know, I'm just making it up. <coughs> <coughs> yes, excuse my baby lungs, I'm sorry. But, back to the subject at hand. Um, uh, family, you're always gonna have family. Whether your family's, you know, shitty as hell, or you have a really great family. You know, we, we don't choose who our family is we don't choose who our parents are and you know that sucks sometimes we can't choose our um our our uh what's the word i'm looking for our upbringing i guess um so, and you know you gotta understand they're they're doing the best they can um whether they're doing a great job or a shitty job you know i hate to say that some parents are, are just shit um you know you see them running around with fucking kids they don't even want um and you know that's that's awful and then you have people who you know want to have kids but can't have kids and i'm rambling it like fucking crazy off topic just treat your your family you know as good as they deserve to be treated is basically what i guess i'm trying to say because if your family is shitty to you then you know what maybe they don't deserve your respect you know respect is uh, earned not just a privilege you don't just you know i hate when people say respect your elders like yeah i understand the concept you should respect people that are older than you but if if okay let's say my grandma says something racist say he she says my brother can't date black girls well i'm not gonna sit there and take that shit that's that's grimy as hell he can date whoever the fuck he wants he can date black dudes if he wants he can date asian dudes if he wants he, you know that's that doesn't bother me like that's his life don't tell him what he can and can't do um, and it's just crazy that people are still living in that time and it's like if you have people like that in your family you know it sucks but you don't want to necessarily try and change them in their ways like i hate to say that but they're they're too far gone if they're you know in their 50s thinking like this they're gonna think like that till they die don't waste your time just uh tell them you disagree with that and just politely say i don't want you talking like that around me you know it's, i get a if, you know i don't want to say you get offended but it's like you know like cool cut, cut the fucking bullshit man like um and that just comes back around you can't choose your family sometimes you'll have racist assholes in your family especially if you're a white guy or a white woman it's just you're probably gonna have run into somebody like that in your family and even if those people are complete assholes um it just comes back around to just you know you only get one family um i guess you could say you get two families with your set of friends but your true family your blood family you only get one of those and even if they have their flaws and their quirks, we all do. Just love them as much as you can because you never know when they're gone. Um, you know, like I said, any day could be your last day. But with your friends, it's a, it's almost a different level of, like, love and just respect because you, you, you'll you disagree with your friends a lot, but you won't let that get in the way of the friendship. Like, I've had friends since the sixth grade, since the fourth grade that I still hang out with today. You've seen them in my videos. And in all honesty, I mean, those same friends that I've had forever have been there for me like family at times when I thought my family was, you know, I don't want to say how to get me, but, you know, it almost felt like my family turned their back on me at one point. And it's like, well, my friends just always had my back. And that's always a good feeling. And it's, it sucks because some people just don't have that, that core group of, um, friends that's just like kind of like your rock you know um you just you just need people like that in your life because if i don't know i don't want to say if you have no friends you're a loser because i mean like, making friends now is kind of hard 
but um, you know when you when you're like a kid, it's easy as hell. But I'm not saying if you have no friends or you're a loser, just go find a group of people that you respect, you trust. Um, if you wouldn't tell them something, then I wouldn't consider them your core group of friends. Sorry for this like rambling session. I hope you guys are getting what I'm trying to say though. Just just value these certain people in your life, even if they make mistakes, even if they do shit you don't agree with. Um, that's that's life. You're not gonna agree with what everybody says. You're entitled to your own opinion. They're like assholes. Everybody has one, and they all spunk and stink like shit. But I just just you know, let that little stuff go, guys. Just focus on you know just caring for the people in your life, even when they do make a mistake or uh, you know say some ignorant stuff that you don't agree with. Because, um, I mean, you only get one life. It's too short to really hold grudges, you know what I mean? Because, um, I don't know, you're just holding on to that hatred. It's not affecting the other person. It's just affecting you. You're the one who's sitting there thinking about it. So, just just let that stuff go, guys. I'm going to hit this ball and I'm getting out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something away from this. I hope it wasn't just all madman rambling. But, yes, I'm hitting this and I'm out. Have a good day, guys.